Father Vincent Capadano. He was a very special priest. After serving in the Far East, he uh, came to the Marine Corps uh, through the Navy as a chaplain. He spent his time in the field with the Marines doing things that Marines do. And we don't see that every day. And His Holiness and knowing that he was somebody special was evident to everybody who met him. 4 September 1967, uh, part of 1-5 uh, was in trouble uh, and we were to go out and help him. Uh, they brought the whole company together and they brought the chaplain in and they also brought in a Protestant chaplain as I recall. Uh, and that's always a bad sign. I didn't know at the time that Father Capadano had jumped on the last helicopter uh, because that's not what he's supposed to do. The sum of it is that we got ambushed, uh, a well-laid ambush by North Vietnamese Army regulars uh, estimated to be about 900 against our company of 168. So it was a pitch battle for hours and hours and hours. Uh, in the middle of this, Father Capadano got right in the middle of it himself. There was a corpsman who was in trouble and some others who were in trouble. Uh, and he, even though he was uh, severely wounded, uh, refused medical attention and continued to try to help the others. And in trying to protect a corpsman from a machine gunner, uh, he got riddled uh, something over 50 times by a machine gun. He exposed himself without thought, and, and he w was always worried about his Marines. He won the Medal of Honor uh, for his actions on the 4th of September. That's how the military recognizes truly exceptional people. Very few people get the Medal of Honor. The church, likewise, has a process for recognizing the superior, the holy, the saintly individual. And that's how the tribunal process and the cause uh, recognizes them in the Catholic faith, much as the military does with the Medal of Honor uh, in the military services. Father Capadano, uh, when he becomes a saint, uh, will be seen uh, uh, as a kind of a, a saint for all people. I think the humility of Father Capadano and his courage are things that everybody will recognize on his way to sainthood and many of us recognized and have recognized for many, many years. But he was totally sympathetic to people that had problems he could empathize with them, and it almost felt when you talked to him like he was taking your burdens and he was going to help you carry them. The essence of Father Capadano was that he was a son of God and he wanted to bring that faith to other people and to people that were Catholic, Christian. He wanted to help grow that faith. And that's the essence of a good man, and it's the building block for a saint. So he was an inspiration both in life and immediately after his death. And I think he's still an inspiration to many, many people now. And I think that will grow as the cause puts forth knowledge about Father Capadano, who he was and what he represented.